Samuel Sharp was born into slavery to Judah Brigham in the parish of St. James, Jamaica, on a plantation owned by Samuel and Jane Sharp around 1801. Named after his master, Sam Sharp is also a folk figure and was known for his pivotal role in the 1831 Christmas Rebellion on the Kensington Estate, a rebellion credited as instrumental to full emancipation in 1838. Sharp, a Baptist preacher, was literate and a strong speaker who was very religious. He had read many British anti-slavery bulletins and believed that Jamaica's only chance for redemption was the total abolition of slavery. He was allowed to become well-educated and as a result, he was respected by other slaves. Sharp became a well-known preacher and a leader in the Baptist church, which had long welcomed slaves as members and recognized them as preachers. He was a deacon at the Birchell Baptist Church in Montego Bay, whose pastor was Reverend Thomas Birchell, a missionary from England. Sharp spent most of his time traveling to different parishes in Jamaica, educating the slaves about Christianity, which he believed promised freedom. Sharp came up with the idea of passive resistance and communicated this message to slaves after prayer meetings on different estates. He explained his beliefs that the slaves had been freed in England but kept enslaved by the planters in Jamaica and described how they could conduct a peaceful strike a few days after Christmas by simply refusing to return to work in the fields unless their concerns were heard. He made them kiss the Bible to show their loyalty. They, in turn, took the plan to the other parishes until the idea had spread throughout St. James, Trelawney, Westmoreland, and even St. Elizabeth and Manchester. Word of the plan reached the ears of some of the planters. Troops were sent into St. James and warships were anchored into Montego Bay and the Black River with their guns aimed on the towns. Also known as the Christmas Rebellion or the Great Slave Revolt of 1831-32, the Kensington Great House in St. James was set ablaze as a signal that the Slave Rebellion had begun on December 27, 1831. Led by Sharp, the rebellion lasted 11 days and involved up to 60,000 of the 300,000 slaves in Jamaica. Baptist preacher Sam Sharp who had an immense support from his followers, had vowed that he would rather die upon yonder gallows than live in slavery, was hanged on May 23, 1832 at Parade in Montego Bay. It was renamed the Shamshap Square in his honor. In 1834, the abolition bill was passed by the British Parliament and in 1838, slavery was abolished. On March 31, 1982, the Right Excellent Samuel Sharp was conferred the Order of the National Hero along with Nanny of the Maroons. In 1975, Sam Sharp Teachers College was founded and named in his honor in Granville, a suburb of Montego Bay. Also in his honor, Sam Sharp's image is used on the modern-day Jamaica $50 bill. To date, Sam Sharp's most famous quotation is, and I quote, I would rather die upon yonder gallows than live in slavery, end quote.